We live in a time when there is a crucial need for preachers and associate ministers to be well trained to serve in the local church. It is necessary to address this need now before the problem grows worse. Midwest Ministry Training was started to help provide a solution to this problem. Midwest Ministry Training is a training program that trains preachers and associate ministers in local congregations. Midwest follows a trade school apprenticeship model for training ministers. Students in Midwest receive high quality academic training from top notch teachers from across the country in an online format. This equips them with the knowledge needed for ministry. While completing their classes, students are also engaged in an apprenticeship in one or more local churches. The apprenticeship provides them with the opportunity to develop practical skills needed for ministry and does so under the supervision of seasoned ministers. Bringing together classroom learning and apprenticeship learning equips students of Midwest to serve effectively in the local church. I encourage you to go to MidwestMinistryTraining.com and learn more about our training program. If you are interested in becoming a student of Midwest, you can contact us or you can fill out an application found at MidwestMinistryTraining.com. If you are interested in supporting Midwest or becoming a training church, we would love to talk to you. Together, we can help meet the crucial need of training more ministers to serve in churches. So Dad told you a little bit about the need for why in the world Midwest Ministry Training even exists. I want to talk to you a little bit more about the program itself. Uh, Midwest Ministry Training is uh, going to be kind of a trade school approach to training both preachers, youth ministers, associate ministers, children's ministers. In other words, the only reason that you're going to be going to Midwest Ministry Training or being a part of Midwest Ministry Training is because you want to be in full-time ministry. Now, we are both very grateful for our Bible colleges that we've had. And Dad and I both are alumni of Central Christian College. That's where I, uh, of the Bible, that's where I got my degree. That's where Dad got his degree as well. But those, uh, and that's where Madison Kerfman is currently enrolled as a senior. Uh, we're thankful for our Bible colleges that we have. Sadly, our Bible colleges are growing less and less. You are familiar, no doubt, with the number of Bible colleges that have closed in our area alone in the last two or three years. St. Louis Christian College went under. Lincoln Christian University went under. Cincinnati Bible Seminary went under. Uh, there is a need for um, uh, training of ministers. And Midwest ministry training is different than the typical four-year Bible college uh, approach uh, in two regards. Number one, it's much more cost effective to go to a trade school approach uh, because you're going to be streamlined. Every course you take is going to be strictly to train you to do ministry. When I was a student at Central Christian College, I'm sure Madison can tell you about that too, you had to take a wide variety of courses that weren't even related to ministry. Uh, I can remember I had a science class at, at Central Christian College of the Bible. I had a grammar class. I had all these different classes that were supplemental that were necessary to get a typical four-year degree that really had nothing to do with ministry. Midwest Ministry Training is going to be a two-year program uh, that will cost $7,500 for the entire program. Uh, that's also different than our typical four-year Bible colleges. Right now, uh, the typical four-year Bible college education is about $20,000 a year for a student to go to Bible college. You do the math, $80,000 in debt if you have no money saved up to become a, a minister right out of the gate. That's going to be detrimental to your future. Midwest Ministry Training uh, was birthed out of the, the, some conversations that happened actually last year. Uh, Dad said, my, my, my brother-in-law, his son-in-law, Jamie Frankie, is kind of the, uh, in the, the, the person behind doing all this. He's the director of Midwest Ministry Training. Uh, and I want you to know that uh, Midwest Ministry Training is going to be done in a professional way. Uh, Jamie, my brother-in-law uh, and, and Dad's son-in-law, he has much uh, experience with teaching at Central Christian College. He did all of their online uh, programming. If you had an online class, Jamie Frankie was the person who was there overseeing that, a lot of that. 
He no longer works with Central. Instead, he was starting Midwest Ministry Training, and he's going to oversee all of the classes which are going to be online. Uh, just to give you an idea, Dad has agreed to be one of the professors that's going to be teaching. I'm going to be teaching one of the, cl uh, the classes uh, this next year in August. Everything's going to be done online. And what's going to eventually end up happening is that the students who are enrolled in Midwest Ministry Training will listen to lectures throughout the week. And then they're going to have a, a Zoom meeting one hour a week with each of the professors that they're involved in their class. Does that make sense? Um, instead of having a campus... Uh, like Central Christian College or like Ozark Christian College. What we're um, intending to do with Midwest Ministry Training is Jamie has lined up three, right now, three different churches to be what is known as training churches. Okay? What's a training church? Well, each of the students who are enrolled in Midwest Ministry Training for the two-year program that they're going to have will ideally go between each of the training churches. There's three of them, so eight months apiece is what they're going to be spending uh, at each of the, the, the church, the local churches, where they're going to be learning and shadowing from whatever minister that they are uh, looking to get. So, for instance, uh, we have agreed to be a training church. We approached this to our board, uh, approached to the elders first. Elders were in favor of it. We took it to the board. The board approved it. Um, Burnside Christian Church is going to be a training church for Midwest Ministry Training. And so that means that starting in August, we're going to have one student who's going to be here. We've already got one student enrolled. Uh, in mid, uh, we've actually got three students enrolled at Midwest Ministry Training. Each one of those three students is going to be at a different training church for the first eight months. Uh, the first student that we're going to have here is Jackson Frankie. Uh, that happens to be my nephew. He's interested in learning youth ministry, and he's interested in learning worship ministry. So for the eight months that he's here, he's going to be shadowing me in worship ministry, and he's going to be shadowing Kyle in youth ministry, all while taking his classes online. Okay, And so after those eight months, he's going to be going to a different training church. Because as you know, there are no two churches that are exactly alike. And so the way that we do ministry might look a little different than the way that Calio Christian Church does ministry or that Vandalia Christian Church does ministry. So typically in the two years, he's going to be getting some uh, input on how to do ministry from three different individuals and how ministry happens where they're at. Does that make sense? That's really confusing. All of that to say this, that starting in August, you're going to see a new face here. And uh, he's not an intern, he's an apprentice. Uh, typically, we've had interns in the past, and how that works is they're here for the summer, and we set them free to do ministry. Uh, that's not how that program's going to work. This program's going to work that they're going to simply be, like, right next to us, watching us do ministry for at least the first, you know, several weeks before they have any responsibilities. Uh, as we feel comfortable and as we feel like they're competent, we are going to give them more and more responsibilities. Um, the only thing that Burnside Christian Church um, is responsible for doing as a training church is to train them. There's no cost involved specifically to Burnside Christian Church to have a, 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 an apprentice that comes and, and learns these skills. Uh, but we're super excited to be working um, together with Midwest Ministry Training. And uh, we actually have three different churches that are agreed to be training churches. Burnside's one of them. Uh, Calio Christian Church is another one uh, over in Missouri. And then Vandalia Christian Church is another, uh, another one that's going to be uh, in Missouri that's agreed to be a training church. There is a fourth potential a training church out in Ohio uh, that has agreed to be a training church and we're hoping to work with them here as well. Uh, but we're super excited for this. This is the first year that it's uh, being kicked off and the classes will begin in August and you'll see uh, the first student that Burnside's training to be in ministry here uh, this August as well. We have a total of three different students who are currently enrolled and we're hoping for more in August when that uh, rolls around. We have two men and we have a young lady who's interested in being a children's minister as well who has uh, uh, been enrolled as well. But how can you help specifically? I know every Every person who's ever up here talking about a mission, they tell you prayer, right, is the way you can help. And for sure, we need your prayers. Uh, we're not in competition with 
uh, uh, Ozark Christian College or Central Christian College. That's not what we're doing. Uh, we're just simply offering an alternative uh, that's maybe a little more affordable to students who really want to get into ministry quick and, and make it happen. And, and uh, that's what we're interested in doing. But we need your prayers to help with that. Uh, there's going to be a learning curve. Is This is the first year we're, we're doing this. I was asking Dad if he knew, and he didn't know off the top of his head, but I wonder how many students Central Christian College of the Bible had in their first year of being open. You know, we think three. Well, that seems pretty small, right? Well, you've got to start somewhere, and we feel like we're going to start with that. So please be praying for Midwest uh, ministry training. Uh, secondly, if you would like to give financially, there is some cost involved with this. Dad and I were just spending um, uh, three days down at the Missouri Christian Convention at a booth uh, down there traveling and getting the word out and getting some students interested in that. And so we were uh, down doing that as well. So there is some cost with that too. If you'd like to help with that cost, you can see myself or, or Dad and, and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Check it out online. Midwest Ministry Training Dot com, uh, if you want to check that out sometime too. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to just kind of share this with you. I'm going to turn this back over to Wayne, and then we're going to continue on with our prayer time.